Monroe? You know, it's been really great for the last year. I got, you know, my beautiful girlfriend, we got married, everything went off more or less without a hitch. And I think it's going to get up. That's what I think. I don't know, but I, I can't imagine they're not, they're, you know, I can't, I can't, I can't just be like squeezy, pokey, smoochy, uh, oh, there's a little trouble with the parents, you know, it's like, nah, I think it's going to get dark. Are they ever going to be able to celebrate their honeymoon and I don't marriage? know, I mean, <laughs> we were talking about that, like, we're going to try to find our way to a honeymoon, but something tells me that we'll be running into some obstacles. And then there's Nick not being a grim anymore. That's major. And also because we are exposed a little bit now, I think, because of the fact that our wedding ended the way it did, lesser things have happened in the world of grim that have led to major upheavals. Then, you know, a grim is my best man and everybody morphs and there's another grim and like, oh, shit, there's another one? Like, that kind of thing gets around. So I feel like being the groom with the grim as the best man, if that gets out, you know, we thought we, you know, had our little world in Portland and whoever needed to know kind of knew it was not that big a deal. And I think, I think they might be coming for me. But I don't really know. That's just my feeling. Were you surprised when you found out that the wedding was actually going to be pulled off without a hitch? With minimal yeah, hitches? Yeah, we were going to get hitched without a hitch. Right. <laughs> uh, well, we got hitched, but there were hitches. And I asked Jim at one point, and I don't really like to know that far in advance, but it was like we were shooting the preliminary episode of the wedding, and I said, Are you really, do we get married? Is this going to happen? He's like, no, no, you, you get married. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> so, hence, you know, we got married, but man, it, the second the second we're married, the shit hits the fan. <laughs> so, it's like, we're married, and then immediately all hell breaks loose. So, uh, we didn't have long to really celebrate it. But I'll tell you, the courtship and the families and, and their relationship, watching it, you know, the part of the season, it was great. It was, well, I mean, it was fun, right? I mean, it wasn't... It, the thing I like about the show, something I say a lot, is that it's not like a sci-fi show so much. I mean, you can easily look at it that way, and I appreciate that point of view. But I prefer to look at it as a show about the real world from a different point of view. And a lot of the things that are interesting in the show have to do with the fact that the Grimm is the real history. The history that we've been given is a sanitized, excised history. Why did Van Gogh cut off his ear? She was a, a, a one of the women who, you know, what are they called? Uh, she's like a siren. Yeah. She was, you know, there a, re the, a woman who's built for that is a type. They are out there. We know them. They, and then you find these tendencies in the world, these tropes that are real, and then you say, well, the history we've been given is one thing, but the real truth is this. So, as sci-fi as that may sound, it's really just, this is the world we live in, now we're going to tell you the truth about it. So, uh, the courtship and everything was very human. It was a human thing. The issues were human issues. They just happened for the reason that people don't really know, except the people in the know. So I kind of like that idea. No, it really worked really well. So one thing I always wanted to know is, do you think watch repair is a pretty lucrative career? Do you think watch repair is a pretty lucrative career? Hey, if you're really good at it, and you're dealing with like, you know, heirlooms that are worth millions, and I'm the only guy who knows how to do it because I'm Uncle Olaf, I have this piece that can fit into the ancient Cartier or the ancient, uh, there's some German clocks, you know. I mean, I've thought about this and I don't think it's like you're a normal one. Hey, kiddo. Hey. Are you going to crash my party? Um, you know, I don't think you're rolling it, but I do think that if you really do have an old world connection to like horology and you know how to do stuff, other people don't know how to do, it's possible to live well. It's crossed my mind. <laughs>